Hello, it's been a while since I've posted an update on my little UCNC 3040 CNC router. Um, I just thought I'd do a little quick update and tell you what I've been up to with this uh, machine. It's been out of action for quite some time now. I had a lot of problems uh, with shonky wiring. Now the wiring they send you uh, from China when you buy one of these things, it's uh, pretty cheap. And this white stuff here, you'll find it was getting frayed. And I don't know if you can see that on the video there, see that little crack in the wire? And so I'll be getting intermittent uh, faults in the stepper motors. Uh, special thanks to a good mate of mine, uh, Luke. Uh, you can see Luke's videos on Crud Bucket on YouTube and also Crud CNC. Um, he's got a 6040 machine. He had the similar problems. Um, now, the problem was, like we said, those that uh, shonky wiring. I've since rewired the entire machine and, you know, ran it back up through the cable trays. And look, it's working fine. I'll give you a little bit of a demo of that. If I just uh, return it to home or go to Z function. Um, I'd like to point out too, I've also um, changed over to Mark III. Now, I've been using KCAM for a long time and, you know, it's a great package. Uh, now, I probably didn't have KCAM set up properly and it was a little bit lumpy when I ran it. Uh, and since I've switched to Mark III, you just have a look at this. It's way smoother and, uh, you know, it works a lot quicker as well, I believe, anyway. I can run a faster feed rate without having any problems. I'll just move that up a little bit and move it back away. Uh, just to give you an also a bit of an update, I've upgraded my spindle. Now, with my spindle, I've, I had one of the earlier models and it had the DC uh, motor in here. It was a second-hand motor and, look, it was, uh, yeah, it's not really worth anything. It's a bit of crap, really. Um, so I've upgraded that. I uh, pulled it all apart and stripped it and machined it in the lathe and uh, took a big chunk out of it. And I upgraded it with a helicopter motor, believe it or not, a radio control helicopter motor from uh, Hobby King. It's a Turnergy 600. It's a fairly cheap setup, what I've done. And I've got the speed controller over here, as you can see. It's all powered at the moment by a 6 cell lithium polymer battery. Now I can get about 12,000 to 13,000 RPM out of the spindle. Um, I'll try and dial that in, see if you can see that. And there we have it guys. Now to keep the uh, batteries charged, I'll actually um, attach a video of this thing in action. What I've done here today is just milled out a pocket. Now, I'm still using the original bit, believe it or not, that came with the machine. It's as blunt as hell, but mind you, it's about two years old as well. And, uh, look, it's still not bad. The surface finish is not too bad. I can run my nail across it. It's not that grainy. Now, to charge my battery, I've got a little something to show you. And this is a... got this idea off Luke as well from uh, Crud Bucket. He's a helicopter, RC helicopter genius. Check out his channel. I highly recommend it. Um, and we'll just show you a little bit of RC power box here. And this is my little setup that I use in the field to uh, keep my batteries charged. And it's got two charges in there and it, uh, yeah, keeps me out of trouble. Good on you guys. Cheers.